In this video, I will share about the ad sequencing about YouTube ads. Video ad sequencing updates the traditional model, allow you to serve a planned sequence of ads that tell a story to customers across their purchase journey. It's proven to be more memorable than the 30 seconds ad spot. Let's learn the 5 sequencing strategies by YouTube. The first type of ad sequencing is Tease Amplified Echo. This sequence starts with a short video to spark curiosity through rising action or conflict. Then it moves on to a longer video with more information to deepen the engagement. It ends with a shorter video that reminds viewers of story and urges them to act. The second is the mini series. This sequence breaks videos into separate chapters that introduce the conflict, present, the climax, and resolve the story. This method is quite suitable if you want to use different content to target a custom target audience along the buying journey. The third type is direct shot. You need to hammer home a point but vary your repetition and viewer fatigue. This sequence uses 4 to 6 videos to present the same idea from different angles and is great for customizing content based on what the viewer is about to watch. Next is the follow up. This sequence starts with a long form ad that introduces the concept and ramps up the story. Then it shows a succession of shorter ads to resolve the conflict and drive to a call to action. The last type is the lead in. This sequence starts with a short video that teases the story, then ends up with a long form video that completes the narrative and amplifies the message. Which sequence should you start with? Pick a campaign goal. Then, Explore the average leaf of each sequence over a single 30 second true view YouTube ad view multiple times. You notice some variance across metrics, but it's a safe bet to prioritize this amplified echo, the mini series, or the direct shot when testing sequences. The current sequence templates when I filming this episode have this type, custom sequence, automatic sequence, introduce and reinforce, prompt and inspired, attract and redirect, and engage and differentiate. Depending on the type of the sequence template, you might need a different length or video duration or total numbers of videos. What are the key takeaways? The first is test illiterate repeat. Test different sequences and within them, the order of videos, narrative, and personalized content. Furthermore, don't be afraid to try long sequences. Test different length of sequences but considering starting with 3 or more videos to tell your story. The third is get creative with your asset library. Consider the full funnel when tackling different parts of the funnel simultaneously, within a given sequence or across sequences. The last is use machine learning to save time. Google is testing a machine learning power bumper machine that accordingly cut videos into 6 second bumper ads which you can then edit. Okay, that's all for the sharing about the YouTube ad sequencing for this episode. Narrative structure will tell better stories and create more effective ads. Thanks for watching and remember to like this video. See you in the next video.